What are you fucking doing? Something. Stand at your remote control. Like... Why? Because I can. <sighs> See, I told you guys I was going to fucking do it in my thanks killing reaction. I, I told you guys I was going to fucking do it. Don't... I'm not a fucking liar. <laughs> G'day everyone, how we all doing? Welcome back to the channel once again, and today I am joined by my sister Erin once again. She's home from hospital after the bullshit last week and everything. How you feeling? No comment. Fair enough. But today we're jumping in to watch the long-awaited, uh, what is it, movie fucking series thing, yep, <laughs> that a lot of you guys requested for us to do, and that is Final Destination. Today we're going to be watching the first film directed by James Wong, but today we're going to be watching Final Destination, as I said, directed by James Wong, featuring Devin Sawa, Ali Lada, who, you know, is in the Resident Evil movies. Oh, fuck. And it also features a bunch of other people. For instance, one of the actors in this was in the Saw series. He was in Saw 7. Saw 3D. He played the cop. I forgot that movie. I think we all did. But either way, guys, we're here to watch Final Destination. I don't know how I'm going to go with these movies because, as you guys might know, last year I covered them on the channel for Spooktober, watched them for the first time ever, and I was not a fan of most of them. But I'm hoping... You're not a fan hoping... of a lot of movies, Patrick. Uh, we've only got five this time. Thank God. We're going to be watching one of these per month and everything, guys. Now, because this video was meant to be up last month in November, but because of medical issues with Aaron and myself, we weren't able to get to it, so we're going to be doing Final Destination 2 in the final weekend of, you know, December as well, so... You had it worse? I don't give a flying fuck! But we've only got five of these movies, one of them's going to be up at the end of this month too, so you're getting two this month, and then the rest will be up throughout the second year. <laughs> and yeah, we're going to be watching Final Destination, let's just see how this goes. I'm not going to give my opinion, even though I didn't like this movie. Um, I hope you enjoy it a little bit more than I did. But either way, without further ado, let's jump in and let's watch this thing. Todd and George's dad just called. He's picking you up at 3.30 tomorrow. And the bus leaves the high school for the airport around 5. Subtitles are on why? I don't know. I can't be fucked turning them off. It's Netflix. They're on Netflix? Number one, two, and five. Ooh, red herring, 180. Because it's signifying their flight. <laughs> oh, Carter, what a dick. Oh, yes, the casual teenage girl with the big tits who has to chew gum. She doesn't have big tits. <laughs> <laughs> you guys got everything? Yeah, yeah, Dad, well said. Les étudiants, allons-y en France. Ah oh, oui, oui, oh, oui, 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 oui. Yes, yes, why, yes, yes, yes. Très bien, clear, c'est correct. Alors, suivez-moi, on va en France. Au revoir. Why can't he just speak in English? I don't know, because he's that really weird teacher that all of us wish we didn't have in school. Alex, let's go take a shit. Do I gotta take a shit by yourself? No, 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 dude. Listen, okay? Listen, take some knowledge. We're about to board a seven hour flight. The toilets and coach are barely ventilated closets, all right? If that. Here's the guy who was from, um, Saw. You recognize him now? Nope. He played the cop who got shot by the fucking machine gun in Saw 3D. It is weird seeing Devin Sawa in this, though, considering I've been watching the Chucky series and seeing him in that. Shouldn't the plane be getting cancelled? The flight? Yeah, it would be, but fuck it, who cares? Oh, a baby's gonna die. That is one ugly looking baby. <laughs> it reminds me of um Arnold Schwarzenegger from that movie, um what was it called? Brothers or something? I don't know. Or what the baby was supposed to look like in Twilight. <laughs> Did you, uh, really think we're gonna titty fucking more Greenland? <laughs> that would've been weird. Here and watch fucking Stuart Little. They need a new plane. Hi, Ali Lada. May not like you in Resident Evil, but you're still cute to me, darling. <laughs> the face you make when she, you nut, but she keeps on sucking. Attention! Notre voyage commence! Ah, ça 
Alright! Alright! <laughs> That's not a good sign. That ain't right! Uh, maintenance inside the cabin, please. We do have a bit of a fiery situation here that should be extinguished immediately. Bye! You see, this is why you should have, um, parachutes built into seats. Yes. That actually would be a good idea! Whoa, that was blood. Alex? What's up, dude? Uh oh. Is there a problem, sir? What's your fucking problem? Yeah, what's your fucking problem, dick? Please get exposed! Shut up, Brownie. You're so not funny. Uh oh, Carter's about to come and knock your fucking lights out. I don't move myself! Oh, he did fucking try to knock his lights out. Go check him out, see how he's doing. Okay. Yes, get off the plane, Ali Lada. Please, I need you to at least live. Larry! Look, the airline's not taking this very well. They'll let one of us back on. The rest of us can take an 11-10 flight. It gets in three hours later. It's I'll stay. No, no, you know the whole French thing. Get on the plane, it's fine. Yes, the one who speaks... Incredibly poor French is the one who will be the one to go. The one that could possibly insult the entire nation with his shitty fucking... Yeah. He'd get there anyway just three hours later. There they go. Here we stay. Oh, you fucking brat! Oh shit! Who was right? Carter was wrong and Alex was right! You were a fuckwit! <laughs> hey, at least there was a chance those people who actually got launched on the plane before it exploded could have survived. No, because they'd still, if, even if they landed in the fucking water, when you're up that high, water becomes as solid as fucking pavement. Oh. Hello, I'm uh, Howard Siegel, National Transportation Safety Board. We've contacted all your families, uh, they are on the way. Is there anyone here who feels they might need a little medical attention? Spiritual counseling at this time. Spiritual counseling? Naval search and rescue en route. <clears throat> we. Excuse me. I'm Agent Ween. This is Agent Shrek. Agent Weena? An Agent Shrek. <laughs> Donkey! But thank you for the ride. They don't even drive up the driveway so she doesn't get wet. They probably couldn't even find where the fucking driveway was. Also, can I just mention her name in this is Clear, and then seven years later in Resident Evil Extinction, she would play a character called Claire. I hate anyone by the name Claire. What about Claire Redfield? She's a badass, just not that version. Again, I hate anyone named Claire. Well, Claire Redfield's a badass. Fuck off. Tis the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la. We need help. My skin feels different now. It's a lot more wrinkly. 287 people died. My god, I was trying to listen to see how many people died on the plane. You talk too much! Like these, the children of men caught. When the time falls suddenly upon them. Agent Wiener and Agent Shrek are just down there at the bottom overlooking the situation. Presence of death and time. We must mourn and celebrate theirs. One of them looks like a Wiener. I mean, one of them at the back is just sitting there going, I'm watching you, Wazowski. They chose a raven to represent them. I thought it was an eagle. I thought it was, it looks like a raven. Ha! <laughs> ha! I hope you don't think, Browning, because my name ain't up on this wall, that I owe you anything. I don't. Because all I owe are these people. To live my life to the fullest. I want you to stay off the JD then, huh, Carter? Wait for both of you to be a dick and act disrespectful at a fucking memorial service for people at your school who died in a tragic plane accident. Most of which were your besties. I hate these characters. They only get worse in these movies, too. Ask how Cynthia passed her. Will she say no? Fuck. Get the memo! He don't want to talk to you! Oh my god, he's thinking he's like a prophet of something and can predict that everything like... Uh... You know. Ah! Penis!
Penis! <laughs> penis! I don't have a shadow of penis! No! My Christian eyes! Not really. How's that gonna cause the guy's death? You'll see. These death sequences are overly elaborate. Put your hands up. Oh, no, 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 no! He's just plucking his nose hairs. It's gonna go up it! It's gonna go up! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what she said. Oh, lucky boy. And yes, the water is following him. Oh, boobies. You got the sense of that. Yeah, I am. <laughs> His name was Todd! Like Tony Todd! I'm not looking. Oh, no! Are those brothers? <gasps> <laughs> I mean, if it's a sub, that could be to a certain degree classed as kinky. Oh! His eyes just went bloodshot. I forgot they did that. Okay, I am actually traumatizing my sister with this movie. That's unexpected. You see, this is why you don't put wires around your bathtub! This is also why you make sure the bathtub is dry, and why you clean the floors of your bathroom and don't just let it stay wet. He didn't know it was wet. That would have been a long and painful death. It would also be, um, made out to be a suicide to a certain degree as well. What happened? Where's Todd? Uh-oh, that would look incredibly suspicious. You caused Todd so much guilt over George staying on the plane, he took his own life. Oh, fuck you! You can't blame him for that, you fucking wanker! I understand that you're grieving, but you can't place that blame like that. Okay, he said to me we'd be friends again after you got better. Why would he make plans with me if he was thinking about killing himself? Mr. Wagner. No, don't feel guilt over that, Alex. I would have said the exact same thing. I've seen enough TV to know that the FBI doesn't investigate teen suicides. They were there last night. That means one, they don't have a clue what caused the crash. Two, they haven't ruled out anything. And the fact that seven people got off the plane is probably weird enough. Oh my god, she's so hot. Oh my god, get over yourself. She's too old for ya. It's you. Not a likeness. It's how you make me feel. It's reluctance to take form, and you're creating an absolute but incomprehensible attraction. That is the most elaborate <laughs> way to describe I like you to someone. That is the most elaborate way, and it's so fucking confusing. Here's an idea, just say it. I didn't see what you saw. I felt it. You can still feel it, can't you? <laughs> Does someone need a bib? I don't know. You know, I just wish I could see him again. One last time. So maybe I would know. <sighs> so disrespectful. There's no one in the coffin. Still, still someone's future coffin. I think that's just for display. That's actually kind of clever. I was about to say, that's very clever. I like that idea. But not that we have handles like that in these days. They're all round knobs. Yeah, it wouldn't work anymore. <laughs> Please. <gasps> Bloodsworth! Who? Wait, is that his name? Bloodsworth? 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 I don't know, but it's Tony Todd! And I love Tony Todd. His fucking voice is so soothing. Just read me a bedtime story. He wasn't trying to kill himself. It was an accident. In death. There are no accidents. Oh, he does have a good voice. What a sexy man. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> Every single move we make, from the mundane to the monumental, the red light that we stop at or run, the people we have sex with or won't with us. Okay, Tony Todd, keep it in your pants. Jesus Christ, he's going full horny candy man on us right now. I'll see you soon. I mean, you can find death omens anywhere you want to. Coffee. Well, there's the, um, hint on where they're gonna die. Yeah, cause where's the bus? We'll go nuts if you start with the shits. The mortician said that death has to sign. TELL HER ABOUT THE BUS THAT YOU JUST SAW IN THE REFLECTION THAT WASN'T THERE! IDIOT! Oh, Carter. Oh, 
Oh, Carter giving Devin Billy Sawa Carter. the googly eyes. <laughs> Oh, and they all just so happen to be in the same place at the same time. Alex. And you through your whole life. Wait, and you probably yeah. are not going to believe And now it. she's got to move. All the all the ground. Ground. Enough! Both of you! They died and we lived! They died and we lived! Yeah, the acting is not great. I can act better than that! You just failed at it, though. You were worse. I wasn't trying to be better. And if you want to waste your life beating the shit out of Alex every time you see him, then you can just drop fucking dead. <laughs> well, you're traumatized. Well, now we know where um, J um, Spiral from the Book of Saul got the idea of that person getting hit and splattered by a train. Very inaccurate. You know, and everywhere I look for great memories. And now all I see is Larry and those, those kids. You know, just... Just looking at my own front yard makes me feel nothing but fear. Is she seriously blaming Larry? No, she saw Alex, Devin Sawa, out the front just pacing back and forth. That's not creepy or suspicious at all. No, but is she seriously going to blame them for the fact that sh they saved her life, but mm. not her daughter's? I don't know. Her daughter could have gone off the plane. I don't even think she had a daughter on the plane in the end. I don't know. Who was the person in the vision that she was reaching for then? Just some person? Don't think it was her daughter. What's he looking for? I don't know, but he looks incredibly suspicious right now. Let's check on the air and the tire to make sure it's safe. This killer already! Oh my god, how dumb can you be though? She put a fucking cloth over knives. You know a knife block? Like what we've got out there? Yeah, she put a fucking, um, what is it, a tea towel over that. Yeah. How dumb. How is that dumb? You'll see. Why, because it's near the kettle? No. <gasps> you've got to stop this, stop this, it's a stupid mug. She got scared by the label or the mascot on the mug. We come from Soviet Russia, we drink the vodka. She just drinks straight up vodka. Yep, and she's dripping it all over the house because of the crack in the mug, because of the conflicting temperatures. <sighs> Fuck, that actually annoys me, it's a computer, stop! <laughs> Whoa! Forgot about that. <laughs> See why it was dumb now? Uh-huh. Just stay still, okay? <laughs> oh, fuck! Oh god, it's loose. <sighs> You're an idiot! How fucking dumb, dumb can, can you, you be? be? And he has footprints with his blood on the shoe in the house as well. Car, you dick! Why would I want to see him? Because he knows which one of us is next. Mm hmm. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it's Carter. Mm. Billy, wait a minute here. I'm, I'm, a, I'm getting a vision. You're the next one, man. Hey, man, why'd you say that? Because if you say another word, I'm gonna fucking kill you. God, I don't like Carter. He's such an asshole. I understand that he's meant to be an asshole, but doesn't make me want to root for him. It just makes me want to see him bite a bullet. I want to see you bite a bullet. Give it a bit. Out of us. Who's next to see it? You, bitch! Tell me I'm going to get to see the Jets win a Super Bowl. Oh, shut up, Billy. I fucking... Just shut up. You know, you get off having control over me. You let me decide how to deal with it. It doesn't matter who's next. Because we're all on the same list. All of us. Yeah, and if you skip your turn, it goes to the next person. And I'll keep going around in a cycle until you're all dead. Don't care. Slow down. Slow down, Carter! Fuck you!
It's drivers like this that make actual drivers that want to drive properly who are P-platers in Australia look bad. Like, uh, just drive responsibly, people. Don't be an ass. <laughs> Choo choo, motherfuckers! Don't do this. God damn it! God, Carter, you're an idiot. I understand your motivation and your reasoning, but fucking get out, you dickhead. Carter! It ain't my time. <laughs> you sure about that, mate? Because I don't think your car is starting. They really should have been hit right then. They really should have been hit. Like, they did not have any time to get out of that. No fucking way. You're dead! And you're taking me with you! That's gonna straight up Boink! Oh, fuck! Nothing better than a half decap. Right through the mouth. Because if I'm not mistaken, fucking um, Alex was next after Carter and it skipped both of them. Wouldn't those still light a flame? Uh, the corks, not necessarily, but I just love how he's fucking baby-proofing everything so he won't die. Ugh. He that looks fucking gross. He does realize he could get food poisoning and die? Or he could just choke on food. Whoa! He could have just stayed in the sea and he still would have been fine. Maybe, maybe not. Me and Dad at the cabin, 1986. 1986. I never moved. Krista asked me to change seats, but I never moved. I would've been up next to Todd. Fuck, why did I remember that? She's next. Thank you for telling us. I think we already put two and two together. <laughs> run, Forrest, run! Come on, get in the car. We're going around. Get in the car. That would have been so slow. Fucking. Uh, uh, uh. And your arms would get tired too. Just take a fucking nap in the fucking kayak. You'd get that. Eventually. Get away from me! I don't think death's after the fucking- <laughs> Fucking hell, alright. Undo the chain. Look, death's not after the dog. I think the dog will be fine if you just leave it and stay inside there protect yourself. <laughs> Fucking somersault? I don't know. It was so chubby, but I think she just did a fucking somersault. She's going towards a power line. You're not particularly smart, is she? <laughs> the garage door button's not working now. How fucking fun. Oh, she's just gonna reverse out into the door and run that way. Oh fuck, that would have been bad. No. I don't care about any of this. This is so unnecessarily elaborate. It goes on for so long. I can only hold on for so long, you know what to do. When I do this, it'll skip you and it'll all be over. It's the only way we can cheat that again. Oh, just get on with it! <laughs> well, he just went kaboom boom! Oh, oh. Damn it! You can't do this to me. Ali Lada, I love you, but that was really bad line delivery right there. Finally completed a puzzle. 
They're old enough to drink, apparently. Well, I mean, by this point, they would have graduated, and they'd probably all be like, wait, no, they wouldn't be 21, because this is America. Wait, they're in Paris. What are the laws in Paris in regards to drinking? Ever, all around Europe, you have to be at least 16 to drink. Ah, so they would be old enough. There's just something, you know, something I can't figure out. What? What's the design? It's six months later, man, and nothing has supposedly happened since. Like, I would have forgotten by now. You should have let it go, for fuck's sake, man. See, it's true. I told you you were next, man. Stop it, Carter. Alex, wait! Oh yeah, how do they become friends after all that? Carter's just all of a sudden their friend that's a brot? He's an asshole. <laughs> I told you you were next! It just skip me. So who's next? You! Bye! <sighs> That's not the end of it then, None of the, not all of them died. Yeah, because there are four more movies. So yeah, that was Final Destination, released in 2000, directed by James Wong, featuring Devon Sawa. Sean Michael Flannery, I believe, is in it. A whole bunch of people I don't care about because the movie sucked and all I want to do now is go take a nap. Mm -hmm. But I probably won't be able to. In all honesty, personally, my biggest issue with the Final Destination movies is that they're a good concept in theory with the whole, like, death coming to get you and there's a rhythm and there's a pattern in it, like, the way death works and if you skip death, you're on his list to later die. Um, as intended, but... Everyone technically dies at some point. But the biggest problem with these movies, in my opinion, for me personally, is the crappy dialogue, the crappy, um, what is it, characters, the interactions in between those death sequences. Nothing is happening besides boredom. And that's how I view it. And I think from this first movie, you're viewing it like that too. You see what I gotta deal with 24-7? For me personally, number two and three were a major step up. Um, number four fucking sucks. I hate four, but it's mercifully the shortest of the lot. It's like 72 <sighs> minutes long, 73 minutes long, maybe. Um, so it's like an hour. I'll save you the suspense death. Five is really good, though. I think five actually might be my favorite of the lot. But, Aaron, what would you give this out of five stars? Logically. Reasonably. Because this movie isn't without its pros. But you say it has a lot of issues still, like I do. I got no pros. Not even the deaths. Mm -mm. What? I saw your face during some of them. Because they looked unrealistic. What kind of person would be stupid enough to stand near a moving train? A where lot a of people have got done that. Divided, where you knew there might, may or may not be pieces underneath. Is that really the first thing you would think of? No, yes! it wouldn't be. Common you'd be thinking, sense. you'd be thinking, holy fuck, you almost died, are you okay? You wouldn't be thinking about the possible debris. No, like when I got hit by the car, because of you, my first thought was to get out of the fucking way, off of the road in case of other traffic. My first thought wasn't, oh my god, I'm in so much pain, there is a lot of adrenaline rushing through your body. When you go through an event like that, whether you're the one affected physically or mentally. You see my point? No, the movie still sucked. Yes, it's not a good movie, but there are pros to the fucking film still. Like what? For one, for the most part, it is competently directed, and even though the death sequences are overly elaborate, the direction and the suspense built up is actually quite good, and it does draw you in thinking of multiple ways they could die before you actually see the final result and how it all unveils. I highly doubt death will chase you if you accidentally cheat death. It's the concept of the film. Do you really think a guy like Jason Voorhees who dies in every fucking film pretty much he's in will keep coming back to kill more people at Camp Crystal Lake? Do you really think a guy like Freddy Krueger can really kill you and haunt you in your dreams? Out of five stars, what would you give it, you twat? Point five, because that's as low as I can go. <laughs> I have logic. Anyway, guys, that was our reaction to Final Destination, released in 2000. My sister's being a bit of a dickhead. Look, I don't like it either, but I'm not going to deny that this movie does have pros to it. I don't think this is a perfect film. I think if you're with mates, you can watch it and kind of make fun of it. And it does have its pros. There are some good things in the movie. I just don't think it's a great one. Um, but look, I think it's fine. 
I'm gonna fucking slap you, you silly. Anyway, guys, that was our reaction to Final Destination. My sister's first time watching. I'm just gonna blur out her face right here. <laughs> Um, thank you all so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. You guys are the absolute best. I look forward to doing Final Destination 2 with Aaron soon, as well as many more videos to come, including Hellraiser, Krampus, Sinister with Aaron as well, and much, much more. Thank you all so much for watching. Do be sure to click the subscribe button and the bell to get notified when new videos are up every single week, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.